Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you the Mistweaver Dragonflight pre-patch talent overview. These are talents I'm going to be using in solo shuffle that comes out in pre-patch. Uh, one thing I do want to note is you are going to be missing five talents on each side. So the build is going to be a little bit awkward and you're not going to be able to get every talent that you're going to be go going to be going in Dragonflight once it comes out uh, because you level and you get a point every time you get a level from 60 to 70. Uh, but this is the these this is the build I'll be using for solo shuffle and, you know, just PvPing in general until the expansion comes out. So, let's just jump right into it. Uh, by default, Soothing Mist is given to every monk spec. So, Windwalkers, Brewmasters, Mist Beavers, I'll get it. I'm going to go Rising Sun Kick and Tiger's Lust. I think Rising Sun Kick is is really good damage and a uh, tiger's lust is something i have always been a fan of i wish to increase the range of it but they haven't uh next you're gonna go improved roll so this gives you an extra charge of roll just then simple which is really good and reduce all damage taken by three percent calming presence i mean if you play miss weaver in pvp you probably know that's basically mandatory and then disable so this gives you a 50 percent slow and then it the, it's refreshed when you do a melee hit on, on the target. So you just, just apply the slow and then just rising sun kick, spinning crane kick, blackout kick, tiger palm. Anything will refresh the slow. So you have a 50% slow, which is amazing. Uh, in the next tier, now ideally, I would probably come down here and go you get go with profound rebuttal and kind of get the reduction on leg sweep, but we don't really have the points for it. This, see, this is two points. This is two points. This is one point. So these are five points right here. These are probably going to have five points that I'm missing. So I'm not, I'm not going to go this way for pre-patch i'm actually going to go vigorous expulsion to increase expel harms healing and crit chance and then go with improve vivify because that just increases healing by 40 percent of your vivify which is your primary heal so <clears throat> we're gonna get that and then obviously we want to spell and then we want paralysis um and then you you want improved paralysis to reduce the cooldown so it's a 30 second cooldown and increase all damage dealt by two percent we're not gonna go this i i don't miss weaver fist weaving i've tested it's it's not gonna it's not gonna happen uh viv vivacious vivification not gonna go it uh the instant vivify is consumed when you soothing miss with vivify so it just doesn't make sense to use increase all healing take my four percent i'm actually not gonna go this either you could probably actually go here here and then maybe go here here maybe skip this but i don't think i'm gonna go with grace of the crane because it's basically just healing yourself and then you're going to go transcendent. So this is your port. And then you're going to get spearhand strike, which is your kick. We have a kick, which is amazing. And then you're going to get fort brew. So fort brew is a, is a what, a four minute, cool, six minute cooldown. And let's see. I'm not going to lie. This is a tough decision for me because a four, between a four and a six minute cooldown, I feel like it's only going to get used once in like an arena. So I think I just want to make it better. Wait, is it still a four? Is it a four minute cooldown? This? Oh, it's just bugged on beta. It's just bugged. Okay. I don't, I don't think it's a four-minute cooldown. Um, and then I'm going to go Cheat Torpedo because I like Cheat Torpedo a lot in Mist Weaver. Fast Feet we're not going to go with just because we're not going to be doing a lot of damage. We're not going to be going in for damage. And obviously, we're going to go with Ring of Peace. Diffuse Magic, Dampen Harm. And it looks like we need one more point. So, oh, Touch of Death. So, this is the, the our, this is what makes Touch of Death normal, like at 15%. You on pre-patch you could drop this and go with strength of spirit which increases expel harm by 100 percent based on your missing health so you could go either todd todd doesn't work right so maybe just go strength of spirit uh strength of spirit healing is pretty good and then you go escape from reality which is our legendary right now which makes it so we can port twice which is amazing so we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with uh save them all which is when you're healing spells, heal an ally below 35% health, you gain 20% extra healing for four seconds, which is absolutely crazy. So that's really nice. And we're going to get statues. So I guess we have one more point. Uh, we're going to put it with touch of death. So this, these are the monk points that I'm going to be using going into, into Dragonflight uh, pre-patch. For the Mist Beaver talents, you just start off with getting Enveloping Mist. Unfortunately, you need to go. They absolutely refused to swap these two. I don't know why, but you have to get Essence Font to get Life Cocoon. They made a whole post about it saying how they want all Mist Beavers to have Essence Font, which is just so great. And then you're going to go Renewing Mist, and then you're going to go Invigorating Mist. What this is, is this is the Cleave Heal. When you have Renewing Mist on multiple people, your Vivify is going to heal everybody with Renewing Mist on them. Uh, you need Thunder Focus T, so we're going to go that. And then this is really cool. This is really cool. Restoro heals all party and raid members uh, within 40 yards for whatever and clears them all harmful poison and disease not magic just remember that so it won't dispel you or anything like that but it is castle while stunned and it does work with uh peace weaver which is pretty cool um i'm still gonna go with revival because we have double port and we have eminence i don't think 
there's any reason to go with Restoro. Uh, maybe there's maybe there's you know a situation where it's good, but uh, I don't think so. Um, and then you need Master of Mist, which gives Renewing Mist two charges, which is really important. Healing Elixir. So we're gonna have so many defensives. We have Diffuse Magic, Dampen Harm. Fort Brew and Healing Luxers, which is just crazy. And then off of that, we're going to go Life Cycles or Manatee. Up to you. You, If you know me, I like Life Cycles a lot. It, I'm a huge fan of it. So uh, that's that's what I'm going to be going with. Um, and then you want to go Mist of Life, which Life Cocoon applies to Renewing Mist and Envelop Mist to the target, which is huge. This is huge because Life Cocoon buffs the your Hots and Healing. So that's, that's just crazy and then we're gonna go with nourishing chi which is a conduit in shadowlands uh which makes it so after your life cocoon expires well it increases the healing of your hots and then when life cocoon is over you keep that effect for t 10 seconds this is actually a buff i think it's six seconds on live so it's crazy good and then common coalescence so this is a talent i know i'm taking this when dragonfly comes out but i don't know if i have the points for it right now in pre-patch but what it does is every time you use soothing mist the absorption of your next life cocoon is increased by 3%, stacking up to 50 times. I, it's a huge life cocoon. At the end of the video, I could show you how big it is. Like, it is insane. I guess I'll just go it because I need the points to get to the next tier. But I, I really don't. I don't know. I don't I don't know if uh, if I'm going to go it or not. Essence font. No. we're gonna. So we do need to get to Yulon or Chi Chi. We need to go here. So we need to choose one of these three. Your Vivify reduces the cooldown of enveloping the crit. So I'm just going to go here, get Yulon. Now, I know people might be saying Song of Chi-Gi. It's just on pre-patch, it's a way... It, like, you're, you are missing five points, so it, you're missing out on a lot. So I'm just going to not go Song of Chi-Gi, but in, in Dragonflight, I am absolutely going to be going Song of Chi-Gi. Just right now, I don't think I can. So right here, we're going to go with Mistrap, of course. Uh, Thunder Focus T. I think we need... Well, you know, we're going to go here. And then we need three more points. I don't even know where to go with these three points. I think I need... Oh, oh, Overflowing Mist is huge. So your Enveloped Mist heals the target for 2% of the max health each time they take damage. So if you have Enveloped Mist on target, they're just getting healed for 2%, which is crazy. Um, so we need one more point. I don't know where I would put it. Uh, I think... I mean, maybe we could just go Song of Chi-Gi, Zen Pulse, Break CC. So I don't think it's going to be that worth it. I mean, let's just go Song, I guess. Yeah, we'll go Song here, Cloud of Focus. And then I really want... Gift of the Celestials, because if you didn't know, Yulon it, uh, makes it so Enveloping Mist costs 33% less mana while it's active. So uh, if we reduce it by two minutes, it's a one minute cooldown that reduces Enveloping Mist by 33%, which is so good. So then we need Resplendent Mist, and then we need Tea of Serenity. So this is going to be the build I'm going to be using going into pre-patch. Um, it is... It feels incomplete because it is. Now, if we had those five extra points on the monk side, I would definitely be going with probably Chi Wave and Profound Rebuttal just to get these two. And then I'd probably put one entire Tail Sweep and one in Grace of Crane. And maybe just do maybe two here and one in Elusive Mist. In the Mist Weaver side, you're definitely going to go Bone Brew. You're definitely go, going to go Attenuation. And then you're going to come down here, go Tea of Plenty. And you're going to want, let me see, you're going to want two here, maybe even two here. Yeah, two here, and then you're going to go with uh, Tier of Mourning. So the the builds are just incomplete. You're going to have five extra points. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to feel a bit awkward at first, but when Dragonflight comes out, everything's going to be good. So with that said, that is the talents overview. These are talents we're going to be using. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic day. Hope everyone's reached Shadowlands. Hit the titles that they wanted. Got the rating. Got the Mythic Plus they want to do. And that's pretty much it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic day. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you later.